Today I'm going to show you the easiest, simplest way to preserve chives so that you have them all year long. So chives are so productive in the kitchen garden and sometimes overly productive where you should be harvesting them, but you don't know what to do. Well, one of our promises at Gardenary is that you get a year round supply of herbs. And one of the ways you make that happen is you're going to harvest more than you need all the time. So every time you're harvesting chives, you want to do like a double harvest. You want to harvest what you need right at the moment. Then you want to harvest some to preserve. And when you do that, you're just going to follow this simple, basically one, one, two, three step plan to preserve your herbs, preserve your chives to have for the rest of the year, even if you live in a very cold place. So I uh, just cut these chives. We've had loads of frost and cold here in Nashville. This is December, a December harvest of chives. And I'm just pulling out the like spent parts of the chives. So these are gonna go straight to the compost pile. I'm not gonna do anything with those. And then we've got these leftover that look really nice and green. Again, just kind of pulling out the bad ones. There's so many chives that um, you like, it's fine to pull out a few and bring them to the compost to feed the compost for the spring season. So uh, once I do this, then I'm gonna give my chives a little bath in the salad spinner. So that's the first step, get rid of the ones that aren't perfect. And uh, I've just got my favorite salad spinner here and I'm going to give these a spin. So got my little spinner. I'm just gonna drop these down in the water like that and just give them a little swishy, swish, 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 just like that. And then you're gonna empty this water. So you let it kind of rinse a couple times. So I swish it, rinse it a couple times. Then we're gonna dump, dump this water and give this a really good spin. All right, so water's dumped. Now I've got some nice cleaned off chives. Now the goal is to get the chives as dry as possible for preserving. So I'm gonna give them some really good spins in the salad spinner. This is just like a clothes dryer or a clothes washer. Just spinning. You can see all that moisture coming off this side of the spinner. Let it do its thing. And then you're pretty close to being done. All right, so now that these are nice and dry, look at that, so beautiful. Now we're going to just do a last step and put them out on a tea towel just to make sure that there's no moisture left on our chives. So put them like that. We're done with the salad spinner and then we're just going to take a tea towel and make sure they're nice and dry. Next step, that's the first step. The next step is to get some kind of dehydrator. Now you can do this in an oven at a very low temp if you want. Something like 250 uh, in, the, in the oven should work. Um, but you can also do it in a, a dehydrator. So I have a pretty basic entry level dehydrator. This is Nesco American Harvest Food Dehydrator and Jerky Maker. They have degree um, recommendations on here and they actually say for herbs and spices to do it at 95. I tried that and it did not work. So in order to get my chives completely dehydrated, I had to do it at more like 160 and they were done very quickly. Actually 145 is what I chose. So um, in, a, in an oven probably going around 200 for just like less than probably 20 minutes will get the job done. So all we're going to do now is take our chives and lay them out on the dehydrator. So you really don't want them to be touching. I've got two trays so that I can spread these out. So we're going to take them and lay them flat over the tray. And you don't have to be too fancy about this. Airflow is the name of the game when it comes to a dehydrator. So I'm just spreading these out like that, trying to give them as much room as possible. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the next layer. And like I said, this is not the best dehydrator, but it gets the job done. You can use any kind of oven. I do recommend a dehydrator over just hanging them. I found that just hanging chives to dry 
does not turn out in something that has great flavor and that is um, crispy, which is what we're looking for. All right, so we do it just like that. Put the top on it, plug it in, and turn this on to about 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Check back within 30 minutes and an hour, and you're gonna see how your chives are dehydrating, getting nice and crispy, and ready to be preserved. So I'll plug this in, turn it on, and then set a timer to check back at 30 minutes and one hour. Do this especially if you're working in an oven at around 150, 200 degrees. Now, miraculously, I just happen to have two trays that I just finished dehydrating. So we're gonna move on to those. And this is what the trays look like. This is with a smaller harvest of chives, but you can see how even this turns into something that you can preserve and use all through the rest of the season. So from here, I'm gonna get a plate. I'm gonna dry this off a little bit. And we're just gonna empty all of our chives onto the plate like that. And then I've got a nice little uh, herb jar. So this is from Ball. They sell these four at a time in a little mason. And this is where I'm gonna store my chives. So you just get them all onto a plate. Now you could just kind of break this up by hand. What I like to do is use my herb scissors and that way I can get the herbs into a nice size that's usable for dishes. So these are my herb scissors. They cut into tiny little, little strips that are really easy to use in soups and stews and recipes. And I'm literally just cutting right along the way. I can smell, it smells so good. I literally am smelling this onion. It, oh my goodness, it's so fragrant right now. It's like the, the chives um, magic is being released with every single cut. It's pretty cool. Like it just smells so rich and earthy right now. Okay, so you can see how this is shaping up and you just keep cutting, grab whatever you missed and cut some more. It's gonna look a little messy. We've got our cut side and our non-cut side. I'm gonna cut some more, getting close. And I just saw these, I was at Target, as moms tend to do. And uh, I was shopping for groceries, as moms also tend to do. And I saw a jar of organic chives, this size, uh, chopped up just like this, dried for $5.99, y'all, $5.99. And I was like, okay, I think I can do this. I think I can afford this and make it for a lot less. So I'm gonna do a little bit more chopping here. Almost done. And these can be used in all kinds of ways. This can be flavoring on top of a soup, on top of a pizza, on top of um, a pasta dish, on top of a meat dish. This can be used in meat rubs or um, any kind of uh, like dry spice blend that you're making. They are so fragrant and they're gonna bring so much flavor to your recipes. All right, so now that we've got these chops, see they're so dry. It almost looks like it's grass, but mm, y'all, it's it smells almost like garlic powder, I have to say. All right, so we're gonna go from here and we're gonna fill up this jar. And then we are set. We have officially made our own organic chives to last us all through the winter. And I grew so many chai plants this year that I could probably make, oh, I don't know, about a hundred of these jars. First for myself and then to gift to other people. So that's it. You're going to seal it up with a top. You're going to store it in a cool, dry place. And that's it. There's magic in this jar. These are chives that you know how they've been grown, you know they've been grown organically by your own hands, and now they've been dried and saved by your own hands too. And you're gonna get to enjoy the fresh flavor of spring and summer in your kitchen all winter long because you grew it yourself. 
So fun, right? So, you know, if someone complains about you buying all those plants, you can just say, hey, I just saved $5.99, okay? I definitely got my money back. That's what we call gardener math, you know what I'm saying? All right, if you wanna learn how to grow your own chives and any other plant in the kitchen garden, you gotta check out my book, Leaves, Roots, and Fruit. It's the book that shows you what to plant in the kitchen garden. If you don't have a garden yet, then you can check out my book, Kitchen Garden Revival. That shows you the step-by-step -step to set up a kitchen garden just like mine. And finally, we have a free resource for you called the Gardenary Calendar. In this calendar, you only put two dates in and then we fill out the rest for you, showing you what to plant each and every day um, of the year for your season, wherever you live and garden. You can check that out at gardenary.com slash calendar or right below this video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for growing your own right alongside me. And here's to you having the best tasting chives in your whole town, right in a jar. I'll see you next time.